Hello, everybody. My name is Dean Davis, and this is Multiply, the podcast that provides a word of encouragement for village church planters. Jesus said to Peter and his co-workers, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Perhaps you, like me, heard that story and responded, I want to be a fisher of men. Make me a fisher of men too. Fishing for men is not easy. Calling men and women, boys and girls, to repent and believe the good news is often hard work. I know there have been times when I have worked hard to prepare to go to a place to proclaim the gospel. I've prepared my message very well. I've prayed much. And then, when I got to that place, I preached and saw zero impact. Have you ever had experiences like that? How discouraging. But about 30 years after I started preaching the gospel, I learned about persons of peace. Luke chapter 10 verses 1 through 12 teaches us that God helps us find men and women who are hungry to know God. When we share the good news, they listen. When we offer to pray, they're very glad for us to pray. When they have questions about the Bible, they ask them. And then they listen to every word we say in response. When we teach them to obey Jesus, they do. These people are called persons of peace. When I go fishing for men and find persons of peace, it's as if I don't have to cast my net and pull it in. These fish seem to jump into my boat. That's because God in his grace has prepared persons of peace to respond to the good news. During August, September, and October, you will be working to start daughter churches. But God did not wait until August to start this project. Long before August, he was working in the hearts of men and women who are hungry to know God. It's your job to find them. Finding persons of peace is a key to planting new churches in villages without churches. But have you taught your disciples to find persons of peace? Have you told them the story of the woman at the well? She lived in adultery, but when she met Jesus, her heart was changed, and through her, so was her village. John chapter 4. Have you told your disciples about Cornelius, the Roman soldier that called for Peter to come to his house? Because of Cornelius, his whole family heard the good news, and the Holy Spirit came upon them all. Acts chapter 10. Have you taught your disciples to look for persons of peace by sharing their 15-second testimony? Have you shown them how to offer to pray for the sick and for other needs of people who are far from God? Have you taken disciples with you when you ask someone, may I tell you a story from the Bible that means a lot to me? Have you shown them how to simply tell a Bible story and then discuss its meaning by asking six simple questions? Do your disciples know how to find persons of peace? Now is the time to train them. Now is the time to help them experience the work of God as they look for and find persons of peace. We're in the first month of 90 days of prayer, fasting, and church planting. Now is the time to train your disciples to find persons of peace. Now is the time to go with them to villages without churches so that along with you, they too can fish for men. Now is the time to rejoice together when you and your disciples find persons of peace. This has been Multiply, and I'm Dean Davis asking, who will you share this encouraging word with today?